Super George, and I'm so excited to be bringing God's word to you. And today's Friday, praise God. Are you ready to call for your daily bread now? Listen to me. You know, the next broadcast is going to be on Monday. So, Saturday, Sunday, no broadcast. Can we call for our daily bread and, and so much for today, Lord, that, that it will last till Monday? Can we do that? Do you have enough faith for that? Praise God. Yeah, I've, I've got enough faith for that. Are you ready? Now, now let, let, our, let our faith, you know, unite in this. You remember even when God was giving the children of Israel manna on the Sabbath day, the day before the Sabbath, he gives them manna for two days. Now, before then, he told them to only take for one day. See? So, so what I'm saying is not out of place. Can we believe God for enough bread today? Now, when I mean bread, not... not the bread you can squeeze and eat. You know what I'm talking about? Provision. Enough provision till Monday. Are you ready? Say, so, Father, I demand and I receive provisions for today and the two days of this weekend. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, praise God. Listen, you've got bills to pay. It, it will come to you. It will come to you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we honor you today as we go into today's broadcast. Thank you. Burdens are being lifted right now. Yokes are being destroyed by the power of your spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Now then. I was sharing with you yesterday how to come out of debt. Now, I don't even know how I got into that. I, I was trying to tell you, reduce the distractions where finances is concerned. What are the distractions? I'll tell you, borrowing, begging. You see, they look like the easy way out. Oh, you know what? When I really come under pressure, I'll go and borrow from this person. When I really come under pressure, I'll go and beg. You can make up your mind from today. I will not beg. I will not borrow. And guess what? I will not suffer. Why would you make up your mind for that? So the first of all, you have put yourself in God's system. You, you, you have started giving properly your uh, offerings. You have started tightening properly where tightening is concerned. The next thing you must do now, because now it is working, but you see, you need to put the proper structures in place so that truly you know that your faith is working. Now, lots of believers, I've seen lots of believers that God actually is doing wonderful things in their life, but they don't recognize it. They don't know it. You know why they don't know it? Because they have not learned to depend on it. They just think it's by fluke, you know, I mean, wow, way oh man, but man, I can't be in this kind of situation again. But you get to that point where you say, you know what, God always got my back. And so, so when certain situations are coming, you think about it, no, I'm not going to bother about it, because when we get there, God will show up. And so I was looking at you, why are you too relaxed? Because it's the truth, the Lord will show up. And indeed, he does show up. Is God because that's what He does. So you need to deliberately begin to eliminate those distractions. I will never borrow again. I will never beg again. I will never struggle again. Okay, so what should I do? I will trust in the Lord with all my heart now note that word with all your hearts he didn't just say trust in the lord he said do it with all your heart now what does it mean with all your heart with all your mind with 
or everything that you've everything in you so how do you trust the lord with all your heart i'll tell you the only person that is going to get this thing across to me is the lord no one else if anybody is going to ever give to me it's because god will command him to give to me if anybody's going to give me a business it's because God will command that person to give me a business or to give me a job or to give me money, whatever giving it is. So if I understand that, then I know naturally I will not toy with my relationship with him. So in everything I do, my mind is on him. Now, I, I want to get something so I know I can't get this thing until the Lord permits me to get it. See, trust in the Lord with all your heart. So now, when you know this, you know, okay, I can't borrow because how do I prove that it's the will of God if I borrow for it? How do I prove it's the will of God if I beg for it? I mean, think about it. If, if I'm looking for a thousand dollars for example and then i know a few people i just think figured out that okay i'm going to ask a hundred people to give me you know ten ten dollars or i'm going to ask um, ten people to give me hundred hundred dollars each so i put the word out say look i'm in serious trouble i need a hundred dollars from you or i'm serious i need ten dollars from you and then some will send hundreds some will send two hundred some and depends on your relationship with them and at the end of the day, you get it. You got it quite all right. But how do you prove? You know, you, we can say, it's God that must have touched the air. But how do you really prove that? Are you convinced, really convinced in your heart? Yes, they will show love to you. It's normal because love comes with responsibility. So they are re showing responsibility towards you that they love. By helping you meet that need, whatever it is. But going beyond that, you as a person, see... Everything we talk about is how to keep you and your mind clear where God's spirit and God's word is concerned. That's what I'm sharing with you. So, you, you tell yourself, I will not borrow. I will not beg. And two, three, I will never struggle. I'm not going to struggle concerning anything. I won't. You've got to make up your mind for that. Write it down somewhere. Put it up on your wall, you know, so you see it every day. You know, the wall opposite your bed if you have any such thing. Put it there. So when you open your eyes in the morning, it should be a reminder. No borrowing, no begging, no struggles. So I'm going to trust the Lord. So what do I do? Say, Lord, I'm going to Susan's so place today. I want to do so so and so thing today. Now, now that's the pattern. That's how I, every detail of my life, I acknowledge the Lord consigning it. Now, let me give an example of this because, because you need to understand what I'm talking about. How do you trust in the Lord? So, for a few years, in my house, we're using Go TV. You know, Go TV, the, the digital um, TV system. Because I I don't watch TV so, so much like that, you know. And like, why spend all that money? But then it got to a period of time. I can't remember what inspired that. Something inspired that in me. You know, like, oh, why don't you just get DST? Okay, I will move into a new house. So like, why don't you just put DST in? And so I'm like, yeah, it would be a good idea to do STV. But then you see, even something as little as that, I took it before the Lord. I said, Lord, I'm considering moving from Go TV over to DST. And I want you to give me the permission for it. <laughs> it was like, eh? Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason. What's the reason? Trust in the Lord with all your hearts and don't lean on your own understanding. 
So I began to pray concerning it. Now, when I mean pray, I didn't say I took 13. No, no, that's not what I was saying. And like I told you, just, just what I did. The Lord, ah, this is what I'm thinking. So um, I want you to guide me where this is concerned. I said, okay. So I left. A few weeks. Well, when I mean a few weeks, not up to two weeks. Not up to two weeks after I, I spoke to the Lord concerning that. I walked right into the shop and, and I saw uh, Explorer Decoder on promo and the price was so cheap and, and I could afford it. So I looked at it and I wanted to walk away. I heard the Lord said, buy it now. So I said, okay. So I paid for it and got it. And I was traveling the f that particular day. I remember I was traveling that particular day. So I've gone to that shop to look for something, you know, before I travel. And I said, get it now. It was on a Friday. I'll never forget. And so I bought, paid for it, took it. And the guy said, oh, let's activate it. I said, no, we've not even installed. They, they need to install. He said, we can send the installer to go. I said, no, I'm traveling. When I come back on Monday, I'll call you so you come and install it. And I said, okay, no problem. So um, I traveled, came back, and then on Monday, they came and installed it. And when they finished, they said, okay, call the office for them to activate it. So I called the office, and while we're talking with the person, said, okay, so um, how much did you buy the decoder? I told them, oh, I bought this. And then the person said, oh, you must have bought it when we were still on promo then. I said, oh, is the promo over? I said, yes, the promo ended Friday night. I like, whoa. <laughs> now I understood that the Lord was, I, I don't know if you, if you get what I'm saying. Now, because I acknowledged him. What did he do? He directed my path into that store that day and commanded me. Now, guess, guess what? Why am I sharing this with you? We got it. And then we, of course, you have to pay the monthly subscription. Now, that was my concern. Because if we get into this thing now, it's going to continue. And then the Lord let us, got it, we started using it. And of course, you know, Netflix came and, and internet, um, everything, you know. So, at some point, you realize you've not even watched the DST before a long time, you know. And, and like, so one period, this happened not so long ago, a few months ago, maybe like two or three months ago. We didn't renew the DSTV for a while, for maybe it expired. We didn't even know that it had expired, you know. Just when the children want to watch something and then you just see channel 100, you know, like, oh, okay. Like, so I was like, contemplating, should we renew or should we not? Are we even using this thing? Get this point. And one day, the Lord spoke to me and said, son, you are keeping an angel redundant. Me. How? He said, the angel that brings the supply for your DSTV subscription. I said, Lord. Now, the moment the Lord said, now there are many things he had taught me before then. The moment the Lord said that, I was like, Lord, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Immediately, I subscribed for the DSTV team. Now, I said, whoa. <laughs> now, some of you will not understand this. But because you acknowledge the Lord, He sees to it that every month there is supply for that thing. Now, because he has already taught me how to be financially accountable in everything, he has already taught me that. So all he needed to say to me was like, you're making an angel redundant. I'm like, why? The DSTV, the moment he said the DSTV angel, everything just connected. I, oh, I, I understood perfectly what he's talking about. Because what he was telling me is, the angel have come with the supply, but you have not received it yet. So he, now that that's all that angel's job is. <laughs> that's all his job. 
every month he shows up with, 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 with the supply for that. And then when he, he's done his, his job, he's go, he goes away. Now, do you know that's how it is everything in our lives? Everything in our lives. Now, um, now we're getting into the interesting part of this working in financial intelligence, which we're going to get into. I'll share things with you that... Listen, this is practical living, not just quoting scriptures. Praise God. Our time is up for today. I bless your weekend. I declare that the Spirit of God will guide you and truly bring you into all truth. In the name of the Lord Jesus, have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Bye.